This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. So this is a 83-year-old female that came in after a ground-level fall, unable to ambulate afterwards, and had this x-ray. So this is going to be a springboard for a brief discussion on pelvic fractures. Obviously, we see them with really wide degrees of severity in terms of their long-term implications, and the diagnostic considerations in the ER generally revolve around sort of the nature of the initial x-ray. So when you're organizing yourself, pelvis is made up of three bones, iliac uh, bone, ischium, and then the sacrum. As far as the major pelvic fractures, there's generally sort of three mechanisms, and there, there's a young Burroughs classification, so think of significant falls or major mechanism MVAs. You either have an anterior posterior compression, so then you have sort of an open book pelvis, usually at the symphysis, you're open there. The implications of that are significant in terms of complications. What are the major complications that you see after a pelvic fracture like that? Oftentimes retroperitoneally, usually venous 90% of the time, sometimes arterial. Those patients are generally a candidate for embolization if they become hemodynamically unstable. The other big category of injuries there is urethral injuries, both male and female, um, and sometimes, uh, especially in females, potentially open pelvic fractures. So that's an open book pelvis fracture or sprung pelvis. You can get lateral compression where this collapses. Those tend to be less associated with those types of complications. And then you can get a vertical shear injury, which is sort of like a fall from a significant height. And then you get disruption where you get an offset, usually with disruption at the SI joint or the uh, sacrum. So in contradistinction to those major pelvic fractures, this patient just had symphysis fracture. You know, the pelvis is a ring, as long as there's not disruption of the posterior elements, which generally would not be expected from a ground level fall. Those are considered stable fractures. And there's actually no necessity for any surgical intervention. And they're not associated with the vascular complications or the urethral injuries. So this patient is made sort of weight bearing as tolerated and could potentially even go home. So usually in our context, uh, those patients get admitted because of sort of social reasons, but they are weight bearing as tolerated, crutch assist, walker, uh, and they could go home. Other areas that you can have sort of stable pelvic fractures, you can get avulsion fractures from the anterior superior iliac spine. That's where your sartorius muscle inserts, also where you get hip pointers, uh, anterior inferior iliac spine, which is here. That's where your rectus femoris inserts. You can get an ischial body fracture, ischial body here, iliac body here, iliac crest. All those are stable fractures, weight bearing is tolerated. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of perspective. There's a vast spectrum of severity. In this particular case, this is weight bearing is tolerated, but depending on the pattern, you know, those patients may be hemodynamically unstable, require operative intervention. Does anyone have any questions on that case? The Emergency Medical Minute would like to thank our sponsor, Swedish Medical Center, for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible. Donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering AMA PRA Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, and if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation Thank you for listening.